Walk your talk. One of the successful models of intentional discipleship is what the Apostle Paul did with Timothy. This discipleship strategy is more popularly known as Paul and Timothy. It is when a spiritually matured person and a young person with leadership potential enter an accountability relationship. These relational dynamics can be likened to a father training his son, a teacher teaching his student, a mentor guiding his mentee, or a coach developing an athlete to their fullest potential. Timothy was afraid, unsure, and lacking in confidence because he was young. He was like a raw metal needing the heat of the fire, the pounding of the hammer, and the sharpening of another metal to become the servant that God has purposed him to be. He needed a spiritual father, a patient teacher, an experienced mentor, and a seasoned coach who will show how it was to be a servant of Christ, one who preaches no other gospel, which is the power of God unto salvation, one who is determined to know nothing except Christ and Him crucified, one who fights the good fight of faith despite the persecution, one who considers all personal achievements as loss in order to gain Christ. The Apostle Paul became the living proof of how it was to truly live for Christ. He did not only teach, nor did he only point the way, but he lived out everything he was talking about following Christ and what it truly meant to be his disciple. Toward the latter part of Paul's discipleship of Timothy, he confidently endorsed him to the church because he knew he taught him well. 1 Corinthians 4, 17 testifies of this. For this reason, I have sent to you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. Let us all take part in the movement for the now generation, passing the baton of faith to the next generation. Everybody is a Paul as much as everyone is a Timothy. Let us all walk our talk. Let us be one generation telling the glorious works of our God to the next generation. Thank you.